Hey! Hey guys! Okay, at long last, we finally get to play an open world Harry- well, not exactly Harry Potter game, but like Hogwarts magical wizarding world experience. We actually get to like create our own character, get sorted into our house, and all that fun stuff. Um, so as you can see on the screen, I have the game launched, should be okay, just I am so excited to just jump right into it. So on the screen here, you see we got our Hogwarts letter, finally. <laughs> I mean, it's been been a long time since I've been 11, so my letter is long overdue. But might as well uh, <laughs> just get going. So if you can't tell already, I already know what house I'm going to be. Slytherin, of course. That's what I was sorted into long, long time ago. Um, and I'll support it. So, without further ado, we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Wait, a fifth year student? Okay, so we're playing as a 15 year old, which is odd. Uh, term begins on 1st September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Elizar Fig to help you hone your spell casting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, M. Weasley. Professor Weasley, Deputy Hem Headmistress. So, it's not McGonagall. This game, I believe, takes place 200 years before the Harry Potter story. So, I'm assuming we won't know many people. Oh yeah, I'm always <laughs> I've been looking forward to this game for so long and I'm like, yeah, I definitely have to stream this. It just seems like that kind of game. It also seems like that kind of game where it's going to be a big learning curve. There's going to be a lot like I'm terrible with my keyboard keys, so it's going to take me some time to get used to what all those are, what I'm capable of if there's like any movements I have to do with the mouse and whatnot, because I think some of the Harry Potter games in the past were set up like that, where you have to move your mouse a certain way, so I'm hoping this game's not like that. I'm hoping it's more like an MMO where I can set keys for certain spells, but I'm sure we'll find out along the way. But I mean, I am here to learn. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I plan on having fun. Um, what was I saying? I got distracted. Um... Great, I got distracted. What was I going to say? Oh yes. So, bear with me. This is going to be a learning curve, I think. There's going to be a lot happening. Um, I don't think it'll be quick gameplay. But again, why would I jump into a game that's about a wizarding school if I'm not here to learn, right? So, okay. Let's just switch on over. We'll actually get to gameplay. How's that sound? Make sure I'm actually tabbed on the screen. That would be great. Oh, character creation. This is like some of my favorite part. And I, as much as I try to avoid spoilers, I did watch my husband stream just the beginning part of this game yesterday because supporting my husband trumps avoiding spoilers. So I'm like, okay. I learned that there's some things in character creation that cannot be changed later, so I want to make sure I go through it thoroughly. But not, you know, waste too much time. These are all presets. Do I want to start with a preset? Maybe... Female? Female preset? You're cute. Okay, so the guys are wearing bow ties, by the looks of it. Maybe? Kinda, sorta? Girls are wearing ties.
No, I like I like this person. I think her face is similar shape to mine, which is one thing you can't change later. Um I am very pale. Make me as pale as possible, please. Um, no glasses, that's good. Are there any other face shapes that might work? I think I have a round face, though. Hair color. That's weird that it's on a slider. I wish it was a tile so we can actually see what the color looks like. How blonde do I want to go? This blonde? Actually... No, that's not quite my hair color. Oh wait, do they have blue? There better be blue. I didn't see blue, where is it? Not quite. I want like an electric blue. This one, maybe? I like how the clothes are pretty 1800s. Yes, because the game takes place like 200 years before the Harry Potter story. It's pretty cool. Like, I feel like it's more Newt Scamander, <laughs> like what he wears in the movies. Alright, I guess I'll try and go similar to my own hair color. This one maybe for now. I do I do bleach my hair though, like my hair is growing out, but I kind of want to do a fun color. I don't know if I want to do like uh, purple, I think that would be fun. But it makes me look even paler when my hair is uh, darker. Okay, enough distractions. Let's pick a straight hair. Hmm. Long straight hair? No, that's not it. Is there no long hair? Oh, bun is cute. Buns mean business. I don't have bangs anymore. I don't know. Are there any braids? Another bun. That's kind of a braid. A braid and a bun. Nice. Do I want to start with that? Oh, yes! I think this is the one. I can always change it later, though. Okay, so that's it for hair. I have no freckles on my face. Complexion? Ooh. I don't know what to pick. I kind of liked the one where it was, yeah, this one. Lighter under the eyes. I like that one. Scars and markings. Nope. I'll pass. Eye color. That one maybe? Does it look like my eyes? <laughs> wonder if we hear some familiar names. Well, we already heard Weasley, but it's not a Weasley we know from the original seven books that I can remember anyway. It's M. Weasley. The only one I think of is like Molly, but this is way before Molly was around. Um, eyebrow color. I have darker eyebrows. 
I don't like this color selection. I think they can improve that. Sure, the darkest eyebrows, I guess. Those are too thin. Those are okay. <laughs> well, that's not me. I like the shape of these, but not the notches in it. So is there one similar to this pattern? Ooh, that one maybe. I don't have that much of an arch, though. That's a good point. It's probably a very distant or great, great, great grandmother or something to um, Arthur. I don't have... I don't want to spend too long trying to pick out eyebrows. I think those ones are good. Okay, next. Select your difficulty? Story, easy, balanced gameplay, demanding gameplay. No. I'm not one to challenge myself too much. Maybe, I think I could change it later, right? I'm tempted to, to choose either, like, story or easy. The story seems almost too easy, you know? But I also think I underestimate myself. Underestimate myself. I'll keep it at normal difficulty, then. Alright, voice. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. I'm e It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. That was quite something. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. I don't mind that one. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Hmm. The pitch sounds weird to me. What's this one? That was quite something. Oh. <laughs> It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. That was quite something. Okay, so just listening to all those, it sounds like the same voice for sure. Voice one versus voice two. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. But when I stray away from, like... I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. When I stray away from this one, like, if I go, like, too high in pitch or too low of pitch, it kind of sounds like... kind of sounds almost echoey. And I feel like if it's distracting me that much now, it'll probably distract me through the game. And I don't want it to do that. Um, the voice is one thing you cannot change later, so I think I'll just stick to um, the neutral... Neutral pitch for voice two. Name. Hmm. I'm thinking Haley Storm. <laughs> that way it's still my first name. But Storm's cool. Could you imagine encountering a wizard whose last name is Storm? Like, if, I, if like, my character... I don't know how far this game goes, but what if I do become an Auror or something? Or become a professor? Could you imagine being taught by, like, Professor Storm? <laughs> That'd be so cool. Yes, I am a witch. I think we are ready. Ooh, here we go! Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. 
It's oh. a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time begins. Hey, who are you? Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George. George. Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Hmm? Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Oh, I'm so polite. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. What's wrong? Oh, I wanted to mention, I think my computer is going to struggle playing this game, unfortunately. <laughs> Quality's low. <laughs> She's gonna warn you now. Oh, who are you? I'm sure we'll find out. Keeping all the original game music. We're getting a genuine experience here. Oh, I like there a bit. Oh no. <laughs> I'm glad I caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> And who is your traveling companion? Haley Storm, sir. A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? Goblin Rebellion? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I it's believe so he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. I thought he was it looks like she was metal. Dead. That symbol. What's the glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Oh, I see it now. Merlin's beard. How did you... Wait. We do not know. Oh, shoot. Where did the dragon come from? It's got something on its neck. <gasps> did you 
see that? We can see the Thestrals now. We saw Osric George die. George Osric. Oh, shoot. Arresto momentum. Right before you hit the ground. Give me your hand. Adieu. Fine. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. There's a heartbeat. So that's an audio indicator of my health. If I heal, does it go away? I have the visual at the bottom corner. Okay. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... Heartbeat's gone, though. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir? <sighs> where are we? Oh. I'm not sure. But that oh, key you discovered look. was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. Ooh. Oh, I love your shoes. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Okay, I can move. I like how the port key was an actual key. Where are we? take us farther from london than the carriage traveled we're somewhere in the scottish highlands sir those Ooh. ruins do you think the port key was meant to lead us there i do this has not been the day either of us expected but miriam sent that port key to george for a reason and i believe that she and now george died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to Oh, she did die. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. I see one. Right in front of us. <laughs> oh, all right, I guess we're running. Mind your step. V, what's V? Oh, okay. Shows me my current objective. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching oh, for jump. evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. <sighs> ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. We need a time turn here, then we can go find it. Hogwarts was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. No, I'll lead the way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different Ooh. than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. What is this now? Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Basic cast. Tap to perform. Okay. Okay, we'll spam it. Excellent! Well, thank you. Use your camera to select an active target. 
Is that what V is for? Oh, I gotta hold it. Got it. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Ooh. It's like Zelda. No pots are safe. Your one works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of dialogue as this game ramps up. Ah, up there. Oh, it like did that wall climb sort of thing. But what is this way? Oh, a chest! I searched it. Did I get anything for it? I don't think there was anything in there. We're close now. It's just ahead. I wonder how soon she passed, though. Considering everything that happened. Like, he seems... He seems okay? Steady yourself! Because he almost didn't want to admit it in the carriage. Repair Professor, you're gonna have to teach me that one. I can contribute at the moment. What's this in the ground? Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Pot's out of place. The mini-map shows your surroundings with the arrow in the middle. This is your current objective. Press and hold B to toggle quest objective details. Okay. The path to Hogwarts. Professor Fig and I have traveled via port key to a remote cliffside in the Scottish Highlands. We need to explore the mysterious ruins that we suspect the port key was meant to lead us to. Okay, so that just closes it? I'm sure the HUD's gonna get a lot more complicated. Let's see what we can find. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? That shape looks like the key. It must be important. I'm walking What's towards this? it. Professor Fig! Uh, what do I do here? <laughs> oh, I had to wait for him. I'm getting impatient. <laughs> How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again. Is that Bring the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Merlin's beard. Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Oh, that was a cool transition. Well, let's ask for some help.
Uh, just a moment. <laughs> oh. to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. The key? Mm hmm? Your wife's portkey. Key, please. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Lamp, please. Stand back. Stay close. Oh, stay close. <laughs> After you. Why, thank you, sir. We're going for a ride. Now keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> I'd be scared to go in that thing. Like what? No seatbelts? How many vaults are there in Green Dots? Hundreds. Oh, I can look. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. Really As we speak, look. we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Green Dots? Mm. They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You want to take a breath? A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Cool. This is a pretty neat experience. I'm enjoying the cinematic. But it's so hard to, like, commentate, because I don't want to interrupt the storyline either. They're presenting a lot of information. Vault number... Vault 12. Momentous day! <laughs> hmm. On your way. On his arm. It was like the same kind of band that was on that dragon that attacked the carriage. I wonder if that... What was that one goblin's name? It started with an R. I wonder if he's like controlling them somehow. Professor, hmm? the armband the guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container? No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. I guess the game did reveal that part already. I thought I noticed it. <laughs> but at least our character noticed and brought it up. Here we are. Thank you, sir. How? When was the last time this vault was accessed? Ooh. A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. Jeez. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. I like this cart. Are those bricks? Gold bricks? I, I don't know what, what it would be. What metal that is. <laughs> yeah, if our banks were similar to this, that would be crazy. Right now, all the banking I do is online. Thank you for your help. <laughs> Very different experiences. At least this would be like, I'm going on an adventure to the bank. <laughs> These doors are so intricate, but I bet our money would be a lot safer here. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir. I wonder if you mean The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! 
best of luck. <laughs> I like that, sir. That was certainly unexpected. Is Let it like Griphook in his youth? There must be something here. Hmm, Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Yes. Let's see, see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh no. <laughs> Steady your wand. Guide it along the symbol's path to learn the spell. Press the corresponding input when prompted to accelerate your wand's motion along the symbol's path. I don't think I'll be good at this. Oh, I see. Okay. Hmm. Interesting mechanic. Is that what I have to do to learn new spells? Revelio. There! I saw something! Move a bit closer and try again. I'll get right up to it. How's that sound? We're gonna lick this wall. A door? Oh, well, now we're gonna lick that's this a door. Start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Use the key? Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Gotcha. Can you teach me Lumos as well? I'd appreciate it. I'd like to be able to see... Revelio. Anything? I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Let's go, let's go. Oh, I stepped in some dark magic. Oh no. Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. Who's you this? seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio again? Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Oh, okay. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Yes. Okay, I will get this. Oh, keep going. <laughs> You've acquired the wand lighting charm Lumos, which has automatically been slotted to your spell set. Lumos creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see in dark areas. Okay, so it's one. Lumos. Well done. Nifty. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. I don't have to fight, do I? This isn't a trap? Look out! It is a trap! Ah! Potato! <laughs> I wasn't ready for quick time events. Oh, Pulso, teach me that one. Can I just... I guess I could do this. I can just spam click. That works well. Oh, no! I didn't look behind me! Let me 
not even bothering to Professor teach me to Fink. protect myself. Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Lumos. I was waiting for something to happen. I thought, like, is the game working? <laughs> but no, I, I know how to Lumos to now. What What's if I... happening? The wisps of magic oh, seem to be leading okay. me somewhere. I can put out the Lumos if I need to. Best way to learn, right? I'm gonna have to mess up a few things to figure that figure stuff out. Oh, that's where they're leading me. Well, this again. again. Lumos. Um, Revelia. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Okay, same as Lumos. before. Do this. You are so close. Oh, okay. I didn't finish this one. I need to align these statues with their reflections. Yep, I understand. Just need some patience. Oh, maybe I don't understand. I need to do all three at once, they don't it just stay. I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Oh! Really? Well, I did say normal. I did put on normal mode. Okay. Getting better. I'm learning what to look out for. Hold Q during Brutego to stun enemies with a stupefy counterattack. Ooh. Stun enemies take extra damage indicated by gold numbers. Okay. Too close. Okay. Focusing so hard. Oh, I didn't do it right. Oh, I did it too early. Dodging might uh, help me out. <laughs> Run <laughs> faster. I don't know what that is. I 
I don't recognize that place. Can I just walk through? Um, fig. Um, yes, it does sound familiar. Um, the the woman who babysat Harry, Mrs. Fig. She's a she's a squib. Um, maybe she's related to him somehow. It is Fig, right? I th think I'm remembering that correctly. I only just watched, um, what movie was that in? Order of the Phoenix not that long ago. She was the woman who helped, um, Harry and Dudley after the Dementor attack. Yeah. Okay, um, is this a pensive? Basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. Well, whose I memory wonder... is it? Weird. Like, do you have to hold your breath to use a pensive? All is in place. The portkey is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. Person. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. As in the ability that our character seems to have? This is Percival... Oh, I forget the name already. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock? Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. Rackham. And why are you here? Percival Rackham. No need for that. Just... Give me whatever it is you found here, and we can let bygones be bygones. <clears throat> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that 
the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have it. No! He was only doing his job! Ugh. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? He wasn't a traitor. I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Yeah, don't even think about it. sit back and watch the movie and just have popcorn, but I have to, like, hit buttons. Otherwise, I might die. <laughs> no way out. Oh, look out! No one's losing their heads today. Safe? Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Well, he Where has his own magic. Are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability. To end up here. Is that Hedwig's Come. theme I hear? We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Or something similar? <gasps> oh. It's a tad laggy, I'm sorry, but it's so cool. excited oh yes we're going to hogwarts oh i can't wait to explore oh this is gonna be so cool Okay, okay, okay. Can we actually get to, like, the school part? The sorting ceremony, please. Oh, wow. This game is so neat so far. It, it seems kind of slow at the same time, but I think they're trying to, like, they do have to introduce a lot of concepts and basic controls and whatnot to keep you up bring you up to speed but it seems like they try to compensate for that by adding adding more like fast paced scenes sorry it may take a little bit to load i don't think my computer can handle this game um yeah like with the whole dragon attacking the carriage and that cinematic through gringotts like that was pretty neat Oh, good. Just knock. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? What do you teach, Professor? Defense? Charms? I'm curious. I hope we get to see him. 
in a school setting. Actually learn from this guy. Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Oh, cool. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The Penny. sorting ceremony Younger than I expected there were for a Headmaster. <laughs> complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. Oh. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. He doesn't seem very <clears throat> student focused. I'll be in touch. That's what I gathered from that first impression, anyway. Oh, you're like a. <laughs> Remind me of Harry Professor Potter. Professor Weasley! Already. We've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. That is huge. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? I'm 15. You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Yes. I can't wait to explore. I said that as I saw the castle. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. I do. I am a Slytherin, according to my, um, really, really, really old, like, Pottermore account way back when. Now it's just Wizarding World. I will maintain that I'm a Slytherin. Slytherin house known for cunning, ambition, and a hunger for power. I like to think of it as Slytherins are resourceful. I like to know my options and resources that are available to me. I accept. Achievement. The sort who makes an entrance. You belong in Slytherin! Hundred percent. Great power, great responsibility. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Well then announce that, the, that you're dismissing the hall. Ah, oh, the leg! Quite an no. entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm- Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. 
In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Aspiration? Very well. Aspiration. Oh, I love how serious her eyebrows looked. A snake door? Well done. Now, go on in and get Dang. some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. Ooh. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. I want to look around. Oh, there's some elk down there. Please, sh sh oh. I would love a four poster bed. Oh, looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Okay. I'm gonna take things a little slow as we absorb and learn. My goodness. This room seems larger than what's depicted in the movies. The beds were much closer together then. Look at the little basin. Aww. Okay. Welcome to Hogwarts. I need to head to my common room. Sounds as though there are some voices coming from nearby. Perhaps I should follow them. Okay. Mini maps all lit up. Okay, we'll just burst through that door. There's a lot of rooms. I suppose some introductions are in order. All right. That is not helpful. Must be Can different. I talk? Starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. I wonder where they're from. Can I talk to people? Like that poor man from the ministry. <laughs> Did you see the way that Okay, I suppose this common room is much larger than I thought. <laughs> What's this? That was fun. Can I help you? Oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figgs who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. Um, it was terrifying. Professor to be Fig and I were lucky to escape with our lives. Indeed. And how did you escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. Uh, what are you reading? What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. But not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. Um, I'll ask him what he means, but I know what he means. Oh, yay! Thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Um, so far I'm liking the game. I think it's a little slow-paced. I do have a couple... Um, like with the character creation, you couldn't like pick, you couldn't see what color of certain things you were picking. It was just on a slider. I thought that was a little weird. Um, but it seems kind of slow in the sense that they have to introduce a lot. Um, they have to teach you like the controls and whatnot. Like if you're a new player to the wizarding worlds, I think they'd be so confused with everything that's happened. But so far it seems okay. I'm gonna have to uh, tweak some of the settings because my computer doesn't seem to be handling it well at the moment. Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> <laughs> that Dark is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Oh yeah, so far, like, I think the game's gonna get a lot better as I get, like, further into it and can actually start exploring more. Whereas, like, I've been playing for over an hour now and it's still very much just introducing things. 
Um, there's not much freedom at the moment. But that, that's okay. Uh, might oh. want to think that again. I'm gonna spin all of those. Look at all the books. I like them. Yeah, it's a game a lot of Harry Potter fans were looking forward to. Can I look through this? That would be neat. Oh, <gasps> fish! I love fish! A game with fish in the background is 10 out of 10 in my book. Um. Oh, hello there. Oh, never mind. I'm not that scary. More fish! Awesome! I love it. That's the... Is it the Black Lake? Is that what it's called? Introduce yourself to Imelda and Om I wouldn't do that Ominous. if I were you. I'll talk to you. You're closest. I... I think I heard one. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah. Based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Um, it was terrifying. <laughs> <sighs> I'd much rather have arrived on time and without a dragon attack en route. I'm sure. How horrible. I can only imagine. Well, it's good to have you in Slytherin. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here. Well, thank you. Hmm. I have questions. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. <laughs> I would look for one. That'd be cool. Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin. One of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not oh. something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status. A pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Aw, but you're breaking that cycle, right? Just assume that you got all of the best qualities of your descendants. And that you're going to make you, the best this. decisions going Very forward. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Unless you know, maybe he also intends on not falling far from the tree. If you do that, you'll lose. Trust me. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. You should have listened to me. Ah, <laughs> I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills on a broom are legendary. You're very confident. Um, don't necessarily. We had it. I'd rather not have more people we put their lives it. at risk. And I think you're underestimating the nature of a dragon. A broom would have been kindling. <laughs> not the way I fly. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Sure. Do you fly a lot? Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Okay, so you're debating on Ravenclaw or Slytherin. Um, it's funny because like way back when I made my first account and I got sorted into Slytherin. Um, and then funny story, I tried to do the Patronus, but then I got like, you know how it's a, it's a timed, a, t a timed, um, series of questions but then I got a phone call halfway through so I couldn't answer half of them and then I ran like them my Patronus ended up being a mole 
<laughs> it's it's funny to this day. So I made a second account, and I, um, I did the Patronus again, and actually paid attention to all the questions. So I actually got like a a dog, but I can't remember what kind of dog. And then uh, the other house I was sorted into is Ravenclaw. So I was kind of in the same boat, debating between the two. Um, but I went with Slytherin, <laughs> as you can tell. I mean, it's up to you. It'll be a very different experience from, like, what you're seeing here. Like, I think I can make a new character later or something, and then try being in the Ravenclaw house. Um, yeah, this site... It's been years since I've done, um, done that stuff. I think the Patronus questions, like, it was a lot more interactive, and, like, you really needed a web browser that could support it. And they have, and, like, it sucks, because if you have technical issues, then, you, like, you can't redo it anyway. It's kind of terrible. Yeah, sure, so if you want to, like, go for Slytherin, you could. I mean, your experience is so different from my experience, and, like, my husband's also Slytherin, so, like, my experience is going to be different from his. It's, like, it's all a unique adventure. I'm just going into it with my first thought of, like, this is probably what I would do. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait for you to get it, and then you can play it. <laughs> Seems like a lot of my friends have it right now, and it's, like, all they play. This is, like, I got the game yesterday, but, like, Due to just some scheduling and other responsibilities, I couldn't couldn't play until today. Um, I wish I took some time off of work, <laughs> to be honest, so I could play some more. Um, but but I don't mind. I don't need to take full advantage of like the 72, 72 hours prior to when it comes out on Friday for everybody who has like uh, certain platforms anyway. Like I know, I think PC, PS Five. Xbox, what's the latest one? Is that one? Xbox One? I can't keep up. I, th I think those ones, they're all available to play as of Friday. But like, people with like PS4? I don't know what, what versions it's available for. But those ones, they can't play until like April. And then Switch, you can't play until July. Bit of a bummer, but it makes sense. I'd rather those games get hashed out so that um, people can enjoy them on their preferred system. Okay, back to the game. You seem to know a lot about wizard chess. A I'm terrible at chess. chess. You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Okay, your confidence is a little bit exhausting, I'm not gonna lie. Hopefully, we can strengthen that friendship another time. Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Who said that? It wants me to go that way, but I want to look. I'm pretty sure the game is set up where I have to stay within the quest areas for now. I can explore more in depth later. That'll all come in time. Whoa. Whoa, that's a cool tapestry. Good morning. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Oh, I get a tailored learning experience. Awesome! Here you are. H. H for Haley. <laughs> Oh, 
was I supposed to stroke the spine first? What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Whoa, it just went poof. Thank right you, Professor, armpit. but what do you mean it <laughs> will cool keep track system. of what I'm learning? Poof. Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Okay. This way. <gasps> no momento. I want to check this out here. Oh, I can't run. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was uh -huh. a student. Can't do Using anything. the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Where did she go? I can't run. Um, what Harry Potter character had the most unique wand? The guide will give you opportunities mm. to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. I like Hermione's wand, just because it looks like it's got the vines going up. around it. Uh, Voldemort has a unique wand. It's like a bone. Why don't you cast Revelio mm. on that statue and see what details the field guide can provide? I completely missed what she said. Oh no! <laughs> I was thinking too hard. Gave me something called a field guide. I should follow her and see what she can teach me about it. Well... Okay, I got distracted. Can't remember what I was supposed to do. Wait! Revelio. Revelio. Oh, I see. Kelpie statue. The statue depicts the Kelpie, a shape-shifting water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain which usually takes the form of a long-maned horse, the largest Kelpie ever reported at the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. Oh, really? That's so neat. Are these like... Well, I guess it's guide pages. I thought it would have been like wizard cards. Challenge unlocked. Collect field guide pages. You can customize your wand. You can find wand handles throughout the world. Ooh! You can wear the hood. Okay, I gotta do a little bit of tutorial stuff here. The only way to acquire experience points or XP. Open the field guide with escape. This is your wizarding level. XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenge menu to continue. Okay. Collect your first guide page, unlocked a new challenge category. New challenges you unlock through your adventure will appear here. Okay, so there's combat, quest, exploration, field guide pages, room of requirement. I'm gonna have like an information overload when I'm done playing today. Collect field guide pages in Hogwarts. Gear appearance reward Hogwarts Regalia spectacles. Each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlock at each tier you complete from appearances to critical upgrades. Upgrades? Rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. Okay, exit. All right, bear with me, lots to learn. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open oh. for more opportunities okay, fine. like that, inside and outside of the castle. Okay, I'll just try and get through more of the tutorial stuff before we do some exploring. An evil Weasley. Ooh! I love that animation, that's pretty neat. She's very kind. I like how she still has red hair. Must be a very strong gene. But an evil Weasley, though. A wicked Weasley, if you will. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. 
Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Uh, Draco Malfoy's father has a unique wand. Um, I thought he was just... Hmm, I'm gonna have to look up a picture. I can't remember. I thought it was just, like, black, straight, smooth. And then he put that, uh, snake ornament on the end of it. Yeah, dude, go eat. Ugh. We gotta take time for these things, you know? We've been playing for an hour, 20 minutes. Gotta do some stretching. Drink water and stuff. Okay. Discovered flu flames. Fast travel, nice. Open the map anytime, fast travel to any discovered flu flame, so I have to discover them. M? Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live, and include the house common rooms and the Great Hall. Okay. Astronomy, Bell, Grand Stair, Great Hall, Library, South Wing. Okay. In this view, you can see the flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house common room. Okay. Gray flu flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. So I guess it's a hierarchy then. Right side is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the Astronomy Tower, Library, and Greenhouses. Library? Professor Weasley has unlocked the Central Hall flu flames for you. Use A and D to rotate the map and fast travel. Ooh, that's neat. Okay. Hint. Highlight nearby enemies. Interactive elements and containers, even through walls. Hint at the location of nearby Revelio pages. Oh, okay. Come on, computer, you can do it! <laughs> A white outline indicates your active target. A mode reveals additional secondary targets. Man, there's a lot of stuff. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Okay. You I can will get almost you. anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Whoa! That should be all for now. The dragon on the wall You'll was moving! You'll be expected moving. to attend both charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Okay, um, is it worth asking all these questions? Are these more just information, or does it have anything to do with the relationships with the characters you're talking to? I think it's an information thing. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you, you said have it. much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. Oh, You'll be up to speed homework. in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Hmm. 
I think I'll trust Professor Fig's word that we shouldn't discuss it more yet. But I do... She seems very trustworthy to me. And she has the interest... The best interests of her students in mind. Oh, what do I do? I think I'll share it with her. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor oh, no. <laughs> Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic it seems hmm well i'm just glad you both arrived in one piece perfectly good boats and carriages to hogwarts and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon i wouldn't say i chose the dragon's path professor rather unfortunately it would yeah, seem you can't that it blame chose him for us. the dragon very well enough chit chat i need to get to class myself might i rely on you professor fig to explain the details of the field guide's map of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and oh, find me in my classroom me. after you've yeah, attended both anything. classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. Keep and we'll see if we can't to get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Okay. Do I like the portrait shortcuts better than the flu powder shortcut? Well... At this point in time, I can't really say. I've only just started playing this. Um, I'm familiar and more comfortable with how the portrait shortcuts work, just because I've played, I've played that a bunch, like in the original Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban um, games. Having just played that recently on my channel, you can check it out and see how the portrait shortcuts were. They were, they did load a lot faster, but that was also an older game. Um, despite of having a few issues with that game, it still loaded between areas really well. Whereas this game is a lot bigger, a lot more hardware intensive on my system. So it seems like it's not really that fast of a transition yet, but I've only just used the flu powder once. So when I get more familiar with with using it, then I'll have like a better opinion. Like I can't really compare the two at the moment. Okay, Professor. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? I know, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I hope I didn't say too much. She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Sure. 
You can track available quests from the map. Open. This represents main quests. Complete main quests will further the story, unlock new features, and grant XP. Some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. In this case, you will need to be the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments or as quest rewards. Track a quest with right click to continue. What's this one? Defense against the dark arts or charms? Depends on what I'm learning. Could get lost in this castle. May need to use the charmed compass in the field guide to help me find the way. Oh, okay. Accio or Levioso? I'm sure I'll get to both eventually. We'll do defense against the dark arts. So we'll track this one. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Go to class, it says. Can I do some exploring now? Oh, there's something in there. Whoa, okay. I could do some exploring if I wanted to. There's a lock, there's a chest. Another chest, can I get to it? What's this? Ooh. Astral mosaic robe. Oh, what's my inventory? <sighs> there is so much stuff, you guys. Quest items, notes, resources, gear. Hey, that's me! Alright. Handwear. Gloves. No magical properties. Um. Face. No magical properties. Wand handles. Headwear. Oh, I have a cap. <laughs> I'm not gonna wear it though. Unequipped. But I want to change, like... Can I change my robes? Oh, okay. Neckwear. I would prefer a house scarf. What's this one? Oh! It's got three offense. It's blue! Kind of matches my hair well. I suppose I'll keep that. What about this one? Oh! <laughs> I don't want to run around in my PJs. Okay, okay. Flying mounts, broom, oh wow. Offense is three, defense. There's so much to look at. Inventory, I don't have anything. Collections. What is all this? Field guide pages. So I'm assuming this is the one about the Kelpie that I got. Yeah, okay. This one's n nine? what I get nine of? Ooh. 
House Fanatic School Robe. Can I wear it? I have it. Can I wear it? Apply to gear via change appearance options in the gear menu. Okay, I want to figure this out. Was there not a cloak? Do I not have it? Okay, I'm not sure how to how to do that. I want to know how to wear my. I want to know how to wear this. House fanatic school robe. Why can't I wear it? It says it can I can change it in the gear menu. But I don't think I can. Not yet, anyway. Okay, I am exploring the field guide, because there is a lot of stuff. Collect two field guide pages in Hogwarts. What's this one now? Complete two main story quests. Side quests are now available. There's so much to do! Available side quests can be found inside regions of Hogwarts marked as Black Flag and discovered by exploring the world. Oh, I guess that's not a color, just a flag. These quests reward XP but do not advance the main story. Okay. The library annex? Seems to be one... a long... The way? That one's charms, that one's defense against the dark arts. Astronomy. Okay, quests. Ten charms, defense against the dark arts, and then two other things. What's this? What's this? Relationships. Hmm. As in just like friends? Like just like, say, your relationship with like, this student or this professor. Can I romance students? That would be cool. <laughs> no side quests. Path to Hogwarts. Welcome to Hogwarts. So that's stuff I've done already. Owl post is grayed out in settings. Okay, I think I've looked enough. Let's actually just... Oh hey, open this! Revelia. Um... That's neat. This cannot possibly be as difficult as it seems. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Hmm. If Let's I have, have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Yeah, if your brain's fried, take a break. Do, do what you come gotta and do. find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Revelio. It's blue. What does that mean? What does blue mean? I only know Revelio. Wait, what's tea? 
Oh, are these all the spells I get to learn? What's this? Basic cast. Okay, what's this? Velio, cast with R. Useful interactive targets in the world. What's this? Protego's Q for protection, stupefy, holding Q. Okay, I know those ones. Okay, so we only know Lumos right now. Do... Do the colors mean anything? Damage? Utility? Force? Control? Transfiguration? Unfor unforgivable curse? Oh no! Oh, oh! Exactly what a fifth year student should know. Ooh. Some classes in Hogwarts actually require you to listen to the lesson and have a quiz or something at the end. And some classes are more practical. Yeah, that'd be neat. I feel like that would be more like a... Like, I'm sure there's gonna be a roleplay version that people will... Or I guess a roleplay game style that people will do in the game. I'm assuming it becomes multiplayer eventually. So maybe other users will try and do situations like that? I don't know. But it's like... I try to think of like... It's a game. Games are supposed to be fun. Do people really want to sit in class the whole time? And do tests and stuff? Not really. I guess it depends. It all depends. Everyone's different. They have their interests. I tried a new Whereas this seems more like adventure type game. Revelia. Okay. I know these colors gotta mean something. That I've looked at. Unicorn? Let's not say. I'm not sure what that means. Dude, uh, yeah, I just want to look around. Oh, here's another one. Oh yeah, the demiguys, the unicorn. I wonder if I have to find those throughout Hogwarts and set them all. Revelio. In order to unlock that door. So does blue mean it's a puzzle? Maybe? What is this? Statue of Gregory the Smarmy. The statue with an ingratiating... Um, ingratiating grin depicts the medieval wizard Gregory the Smarmy. The wizard famous for inventing Gregory's unctuous unction. A potion that makes the drinker believe whoever gave them the potion is their best friend. That sounds like the... Very similar description to one of the wizard cards that I collect in, like, the original PC games. Probably either the second one or the third one. Like, the third one had, like, 80 wizard cards. The Unctuous Unction. Like, as soon as I read, like, those last, like, three lines there, it sounded so familiar. It's gotta be a wizard card. So, like, they don't have wizard cards, but they're doing that. They're making them field guide stuff. Interesting. What are you up to now? 
Who said that? Ignatia Wildsmith. Oh, neat. Nifty. Revelia. Now, was it two pinches of Angelica? I don't know where to look first. There's so much to explore. Let's well, head up this way. Revelia. Oh, I gotta spin this. I'm gonna spin all of them. What is this? Just a fountain? Just when I think I've learned how to get around the castle, a staircase moves and I'm lost again. The portraits in the castle don't always. It's this door. It's locked. I think I've been this way. Revelia. Yeah, I've been this way already. Okay. Um. The painting revealed the clue when she cast Lumos near it. Perhaps I should try that myself. <laughs> Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. I have been over there. That's where I got the field guide thing. <sighs> I can look anyway. We'll check again. This looks like the location from the painting. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Turn the moth to the painting. Okay. Alright, we're at the painting. You may return. <laughs> I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Oh, okay. <laughs> like a little bit confused. <laughs> it's always how I feel when I'm learning something. I'm like, what? Where did she go? She's up there. Witcher 3. I don't know if I would play that game. It's not- it's not an impossibility. I just have like so many Medora, games on my list right I now that I want to play. I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I'm sure it's something like I could try though. Um, um, um. I followed the clues. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. But pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to overexplain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! <laughs> it's. Don't beat yourself up over it! It's fine. Okay. Um, how do I do this? How do I select my quest again? I think that's in the map. I will figure this out eventually. Um, track that one. Okay. Ooh. Off on another adventure, are we? Ignatia, what does she... The name sounds familiar, too. Oh, yeah. If I remember correctly from the previous games that I've played for Harry Potter, uh, she was the witch who discovered the properties of flu powder. So it makes sense that her name is on the flu network within the castle. Revelio. I need to use Revelio a bit more. I keep forgetting I have it. 
Okay, I need a key for those. Charmed compass. It's through that door. Got it. Anything? Other than leg? It's gonna drive me nuts. I've seen like some gameplay of Witcher 3 though. Oh no, outside. I wonder if the... <sighs> Words escape me. Um, just like the... The shrubbery, the grass, like all, all that natural texture is gonna make my computer just be like, I can't handle this. Sir Cadogan? Revelia. Is there a significance to these? From my previous experience playing Harry Potter games, it's like everything has a secret to it in one way or another. Actually, one, um, some Harry Potter games that I haven't really played is the Lego version. I do have those games. Maybe I should try playing them at some point. That's a neat frame. Is that supposed to be a Kelpie? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Could be a person. Saw that they're Slytherin or something. Oh, I know this puzzle. Lumos. A fountain? I'm assuming it's down below? Is this that witch that liked to be caught and burned at the stake? I forget her name. Revenia. Get away from your mom chewing your ear off at Hogwarts? No. They have magic for that. Oh, what's this now? Revelio. Hmm. Maybe not everything is a secret? It's hard to tell what what I need to look for. Oh, what is this? Clock? It looks like a cabinet of some sort. Maybe it's like a vanishing cabinet. Um Revelia. Oh, there's a chest over here. <laughs> Can I not do anything with it? Lumos. Hmm. See, if I hit T, I wonder if... Does a force open it? Like, would Depulso open that? Maybe the secret's marked in blue, like you can use some of these for. Like that, that picture frame, how it has like a blue hue to it. Perhaps I have to use... Use the color of these to try and narrow down what I have to, um, what I have to do. See, like, what was this Avelia. one? Yellow? Does that mean anything? Glacius? Levioso? Transformation? Maybe one of these did something. Maybe one of those could open that. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Oh! 
Big leg. <laughs> keep getting sidetracked. My goodness. We'll head to Defense Against Dark Arts. Oh, let's add this to our map. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Oh, I bet. Let's go to class. Let's actually do a class. We're at two hours. Oh, no, the legs! You're crazy! I'm sorry, I gotta fix this. I'm gonna have to do some testing. Is that all you've got? Yeah. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, oh, you may be asking yourself how an so old bad. woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. I need to look that up. Steadier wand. Guide it. Okay. Here we go! Up! I did it! Levioso. Aw! Glad you could be here for the first live stream! And yes, Slytherin! Slytherin all the way! <laughs> now, let's try something a little larger. I mean, it could be better. There's room for improvement with this stream. Mostly the game. I, I need to work out the cake so it doesn't lag as bad next time. <laughs> but I appreciate you being here. Welcome. I think there's going to be a lot of Hogwarts Legacy Let being streamed all the basic over. Cost. Oh, okay. <laughs> See how the dummy deflected your cast. This I did. time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. <laughs> Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Okay, breakthrough. As yellow shields. So artfully helped me demonstrate spells. earlier. Control spells like levitation spell. Okay. Levioso. Now the basic cast. Well done. Since this is a yellow spell, maybe I could use it on that Very one chest good, that had the eye. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cost, <laughs> and like stand Protego. on this table. You may it's secure. Begin. Don't fall off. Oh no. This should be easy. Complicates things. Good form. I know. Alright, alright, alright. We got this. Nothing lucky about it. <laughs> All in good fun. For a beginner. You give as good as you get. Seem to have taken it well. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Thank you, Professor Heckert. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and oh, they now must I can't remember his last name. 
A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, Salo? is a different kettle of Grindelow's entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps yes. Mr. Sallow will have some Sallow. ideas for you. Again, well <laughs> done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. We're just gonna call him Sebastian. All right. I once had That's a fish spectacle for named Sebastian. Class is dismissed. She used. She was a she. I had a little little army tank in the fish tank, and I would joke that it was like a tank in the tank. But Sebastian, when she was little, she would go into the tank, and then as she got bigger, she loved being in the little tank so much. But she was too big to swim out the front, so she'd have to like fight to get out the back. It was so cute. <laughs> I like fish. I think they have personalities. Oh, I gotta look at everything. They're, they've put a lot of detail into this game. Like this dragon, awesome. F? If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, <laughs> not the other way around. I didn't think his voice would sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. Okay. Just some generic generic talking. Nice Mr. Work. Sebastian. Thank you, sir. I enjoyed that. Well that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first I had to duel. fight knights, I had to fight goblins. Oh wait, we can't tell them any of that. I've had my share of combat. Never used my wand in combat. I like honesty. Like, you can still reveal that you have done combat before. Just don't give the details. Don't say you were fighting that I've goblin guy. Enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest jewel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Hmm. You've piqued my interest. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure <laughs> I'll see you soon. Everybody's Perhaps so somewhere polite. unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck. Or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Clock Till tower next time. entrance. Alright. Revelio. What can we Revelio around here? Don't think there's much. Okay, um, okay, that was our first class. Now we're going to charms. Guess we gotta go back that way, eh? Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased. Stop lagging, game. Please. <laughs> right, you're, you're, you're suspicious. Oh, I like your hat. Oh, 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 oh. Revelio. There's a thing. We need things. Augure skeleton. Hope I pronounced that right. This is a skeleton of an Irish phoenix or augure. An intensely shy bird who could forecast the coming of rain and whose mournful cry was once believed to foretell death. Oh. Hmm. Where 
It doesn't want me to go. Up, down. Up, up, I guess. Oh, <gasps> hi, kitty. Oh, can I pet you? Ah. I hope you're not a professor. That would be weird. I wonder where my cat went. Oh, oh you have a sick-sounding meow. <laughs> my baby cat. He's got a little. He's got like a high-pitched meow. Yes, you stomp your foot. You sh you show him who's boss. Um, I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Okay, I must have went the wrong way. I get distracted. Rebellion. Up this way. Oh, is this that tapestry? Um, because there was that one... That one mirror. Was this the location that I had to bring it to? There's a lot of tapestries. What's this now? Oh, the girl's lavatory. Interesting. Professor Fig's classroom. Revenia. Lumos. Oh, I see. Okay, we have to bring it back to um, its picture, which is down there somewhere. Ugh. Okay, I think it leads us back though. Now? We'll follow it. So I'm pretty sure it's over here. I can't do much, but I can do this. Level three! Awesome! Okay, we're over the two hour mark. But I'm having so much fun, I want to keep playing. I just feel really bad whenever it starts to lag. <laughs> oh, I gotta keep going up. Okay, got it. I get distracted way too easily. I just want to look at everything all at once, and Professor then my brain gets tired. A bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Pavelia. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. I can appreciate Hogsmeade. Okay, I need this. Off on Add it to the map. Are we? Oh, this is so cool. <gasps> the cat room! Hello? Peeves? Where? <gasps> Alright, cat more important than Peeves. Pet the orange one. Yeah, there you go. You guys will all be my friends. Uh, Alright, Peeves. Enough! You'll get us all detention. Um, oh, and we're both wrong anyway. Oh. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't Boots and it wasn't Flack, but you're all in trouble with Hephaestus oh, Flack! That's not necessary. <laughs> okay. He's gone now. Did I do that? Oh, there's one of these things. Reveal. Oh, I don't know. What does this mean? You 
unicorn. Can I keep rolling them? Do I just need to roll the two? This one and that one? To try and make them match? Well, I needed that for something. Well, that's the unicorn, right? I don't think I know this uh, puzzle. Hmm. That appears to only have some... Some pictures on it. What's this one? Open? I don't know. I'll have to figure it out later. I have family in Eindale. Revelio. Okay, let's just go to class. My cousin was transfigured into a mouth by her. Here! I need something to tell Behind me the you. values of the animals. There is an open seat here. Thank you. I'll probably Hello. figure that out later. I am Netty. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take <laughs> hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Growth is anyone? in Gorgia, right? Mm hmm? I don't know the color change uh, one. Uh, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Yes, Akio. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Okay. Uh, let's try this again. Akio! Akio! That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics now, and rivals. it is an exceptionally lovely I day, want a team. I was thinking <laughs> that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Okay, now assuming the game's just gonna load. If you can choose one thing as DLC for the game besides Quidditch. Besides Quidditch. Hmm. 
That is a good question. See, I'm not sure what how much they're actually offering in the game yet. I've only just started today. I try to avoid spoilers, so I'm not sure how in-depth they're going to go. DLC. Like, it seems they have dueling, so that's cool. Ah. <sighs> If they could have I've a, a Triwizard Tournament, that would be hand interesting. In hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? So why don't we have our newest students start us off, hmm? Eh? 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 Oh, okay. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Travel like a Death Eater. Very simply, cast oh, become Accio an Animagus! On one That's a good one. And relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall. Yes? I'm trying to read now, him talking. I could is keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best, Professor. Show us how it's done. Summoning charm Accio pulls a target closer to the caster. Tap the assigned key to cast Accio and pull a target closer. Tap the key again to cease casting the spell. Okay, so it's not like a press and hold kind of thing. It's a toggle. So I guess I could give that a try? Which one am I targeting? This one? Um, let's see. Excellent control there. Oh! Stay ah, okay, so close. Okay, um... Good. Oh, I see. Okay. Hmm. Splendid. Okay. All right. I think I get it. Very good. Points to Slytherin. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. All right, she's going first. Let us see this. Why did you walk? <laughs> Why did she walk right through me? I was standing there. We had the whole platform. You didn't have to stand exactly where I stood. <laughs> okay, okay. I want to try and knock think hers I'm off. Start going easy on you now. <laughs> um. Okay. I didn't knock it off. I got the same amount of points. There we go. Okay, it looks like she just stands in like the same general spot. Um, yeah, let's bring. Not exactly your typical lesson, is it? Not that I mind. Let's knock it off. Brilliant. Oh, come on! Here we go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I have idea. I have idea. Let's try and just knock off one of these further ones. Maybe. I know everyone is watching, but Maybe. try not to be nervous. You are doing quite well. 
Like, should I try going for this one? No, I think I want to try and hit this blue one to kind of tap the red one off the edge. Do not think I will start going easy on you now. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> Remarkable. <laughs> okay, well at least I, I guess I won. <laughs> I. I I feel like I failed, though. I didn't do what I was trying to accomplish. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. Sure, sure. <laughs> I'll say. My, my only goal chatter, is to knock one of hers off the you edge. Will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. Try and get mine. Not exactly your typical lesson, is it? Hmm. Not that I mind. Stop! 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 Well done. Woohoo! I did it! Good, both of you. Well done. Okay, now we load again. Might play for another half hour or so. We'll have to see what's uh, next on the agenda in the game. Because all I had so far were those two classes. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Wagadu? Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Oh. Another school? Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in mid air. Yep. I'm a Slytherin. Um... Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. Oh, so yes, neat. bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. 
I'm assuming magic's the same? This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. No wands? Oh. Oh, that's rude. I think that's neat. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. Absolutely. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Wow. That's amazing. You'll have to teach it's me some nice of that stuff. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah! I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. I'm curious why we're starting so late. Of course, you can use the, uh, on humans. Not late in this school so year, just. Well, why didn't we start as a first it on year? Clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. You a know word, you if you would. Humans. You wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation. Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. But what a memorable charm one. is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's a lot of dialogue happening in the game. I try not to talk over it. Um, when the story will take you outside the castle? Honestly, I don't know. I think it seems like... Like, I've been playing for two and a half hours now, and it's still just kind of, like, teaching me stuff. I've probably been a little bit more free to explore. Maybe I could have went outside, but I didn't bother. I figured I might as well at least stick with the, the main story a little bit so I can gain some spells and whatnot. You get out of the castle around 10th main story mission. Oh, good to know. I like your username. It's funny. Just finished the game? Really? I just started the game today. How- so how long did it take you? I'm assuming you just did like one house. You haven't done like any of the other houses yet. Yeah, so far it's- it's uh, 40 hours. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I would love to play a lot more, but unfortunately I have to work. I have other things to do, but yeah, I, I plan on um, dedicating a portion of my leisure time to just playing this probably for the rest of the month. But, um, I mean, I'm hoping I don't get bored of it. It seems like there's constantly something happening or something to learn. Like, I don't think I'll, I'll get bored of it at all. I'm very impressed with it so far. There's a lot of information. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Oh, yes I am, Samantha. Hello, you wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale, I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. <laughs> Hope your first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. When you go outside, you see a Merlin trial, try and complete it. It will increase the storage you have. Oh, good to know. Thanks for the tip. Honestly, I might forget by then. <laughs> I I'll probably plan to play it again on the weekend. So if we if I get to that point and I remember that, I'll I'll do my best. Um, you certainly seem to hold your own in charms. It's kind of you to say. Thank I've you. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> my brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again. He tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. That's okay. Everyone has different learning styles. I feel like I learn... I think I learn somewhat slow. 
but I like to expose myself to things like a lot before I actually grasp it. And it's like I want to know, like even like the field guide, I just want to study it and know what everything does. <laughs> Quests, inventory, like a lot of these aren't grayed out anymore. Gear. Can I change like anything? I I'd like to get to my new robes if I can. Like I want to know how to wear this one. This one looks so cool. Two-tone hues. And it's got a snake on the back. Yeah, but I can't wear it yet. I assume I have to progress more before I can even access those. Which is kind of weird. Um... Uh, challenges isn't what I want. I wanted quests. My first day at Hogwarts. Meet with Professor Weasley. Weasley after class. Crossed wands, round one. Lucan... Brad Tulby. I wonder if some of these side quests are missable. You know, like if I don't meet this guy. But I have a feeling a lot of it I can go back to later. Let's see if we can do this one. I see a treasure on the map somewhere. In my case, it, it was a lot of it. There's a little one over here. Why are we only learning this this morning? Silver wooden spectacles. Interesting. I'd like to see your parents' faces when they see your Hello, kitty. You know, I could fast travel, but I just really, really, really want to just look around. Um... Whoa, that cat was invisible! Oh, I haven't pet this one yet! Hello! In this game, can you be an evil witch? Or the game just make you be a good witch? I thought it was a choice. You could be either or. But I'm not sure. I just started the game today, and I avoided as much spoilers as possible. Honestly, if I tried to be an evil witch, I don't think it would fit this character. She seems so polite. <laughs> so polite and harmless. Shouldn't under underestimate her, though. Now, there was a... Revenia. chest with an eyeball or something somewhere. I wanted to try and hit it with something. Was it down there? You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before. Is there a I chest in here? Is that what this means? Oh, there's something up there. That I somehow missed before. Whoop. Revelia. Oh, hold on. I thought there was like a, a field guide. Yeah, right there. Here it is. Hebridean Black Skeleton. This large dragon skeleton that hangs in the Defense Against Dark Arts classroom is allegedly a trophy taken by Professor Hecate after she single-handedly defeated one of the largest poaching rings in Eastern Wales during the Great Poacher Raid of 1878. Oh, it is. Look at this. So it's like, I've discovered this. It shows you all the spells, right? So look, Avada Kedavra. You can learn all three of the unforg unforgivable curses. Uh, 
Um, I don't think I'll remember where that one chest was. I'm sure I'll find it again once I get more familiar with the castle. It's just gonna be something that comes in- Oh! I think that's it. <laughs> See, I have a theory. This thing's yellow. I think I need to use, like, a yellow spell on it. No? Hmm. Perhaps that's not the correct spell. You have to unlock all of the spell. It was... It was... Was be fun. <laughs> Use the disappearing spell, then walk up to it. Oh, okay, I don't have that one yet. Oh, which one is that? It's the blue eye. This one. Oh, that makes sense. Disillusionment. Oh. Okay, but it's probably not... I, I'm assuming it's not as effective as, like, Harry wearing the invisibility cloak. I think, like, you'd be just somewhat translucent, but not, like, an all-powerful, like, a Deathly Hollow, like the... Yeah, invisibility cloak. Nifty. I'm gonna have to play a lot more. Um, I'm assuming, like, the fastest way to learn all this stuff is to do the main storyline. Hey, I'm outside. Cool. Okay, not effective, but easy to sneak past people. Is that person stuck? Sir, I believe you have an issue. That's not right. Are you okay? I want to help him, but I don't know how. Can I just, like, bump into him? I think that worked. <laughs> Hello, kitty. The eye on the chest sees you. It won't let you open, but when you use that, it doesn't see you. It makes sense. Yeah, poor student. He's not having a very good day. Being attacked by books while stuck in place. Were they attacking him, or are they just flying above him? I want to talk to him now. Are you okay, sir? Revenia. Anything? Yes. So when I hear that chime, I think it means it finds something close, right? Wyvern Fountain. This fountain in the Transfiguration Courtyard has a likeness of a wyvern on top and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather. Despite rumors to the contrary, possibly starting by Sir Cadogan, this is most assuredly not meant to be the wyvern of Y slain by the living knight in spite of himself. Oh, I'm almost at level four. Okay. Onwards and forwards. Revelio. Any secrets? Yes, I heard a chime. There's something around here. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. <laughs> Is there anything over here? No, I can't do that yet. Okay. We'll go see Professor Weasley. What about the room, Professor? Aww. I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Deke! Oh, excuse, Deke. Bye, Deke. Ah, there you are. Huh. 
I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? I made the mistake of revealing some information earlier. I think I'm gonna keep it a secret. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. What? More work? Um... That was my f <laughs> Yeah, I think that was my first instinct. I'm not sure I have time for extra assignments, Professor. You shall find the time. You'd be astonished to know just how much you don't know. In fact, yeah. Professor Ronan will meet you Good outside point. momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your class well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with How your old own is this man? wand to be far superior. Potion shop, what's a spell craft? I'm curious about all Can three, actually. Can you tell me more about the potion shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. Okay, what's this? I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Okay. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. All right, let's go. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallo or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Or can I bring a cat? I've probably pet more cats <laughs> than I've talked to people. Um, I'll go with Natty, though. Like, she did seem that she had a growing fondness for wands. If she's going to join me to come get my wand, I think that'd be a fun experience for her. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Rookwood? Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Was Rookwood the name of that other person? Um, in the memory that we discovered in that in Vault Twelve at Gringotts. I thought it was Rookwood. It was Percival, Percival somebody, and I keep forgetting his name, and someone Rookwood. Speak to Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Assignments are types of quests given to you by Hogsmeade. Hogwarts professors that, when completed, reward you with new spells. The reward for completing your first assignment will be the Mending Charm, Reparo, which is required to complete other quests. You can track assignments and their progress in the quest menu of your field guide. Interesting. Okay, is there a fast... Is there a button for quests? So I can see what I have available. I'd like to go right to Hogsmeade. If I can. 
Visit Hogsmeade and gather your supplies. I want to do his assignment later. Because I'm probably not going to be streaming for much longer. I would like to go to Hogsmeade, though. Oh, I need Reparo for this. That's what it says. I guess I have to do this first. Okay. A at least I checked. Some additional assignments. Show me on the map. Maybe I can fast travel to it. Um, is this one closer? I wish it said where he was. The astronomy wing. Collection, chess, field guide pages, demiguise statues. A courtyard. Classroom. I think I'll go... I think I'll go here. It seems like no matter what avenue I decide to take while playing the game, there's gonna be like a trade-off. Cause... My first instinct is like, I'd prefer to just like run everywhere until I get more familiar with the map. Um, but then again, if I find things along the way that I don't have spells for or don't know how to solve something, then it's just, it would be better if I had the spell in the first place so that when I did run, want to run around and try and find all the secrets, like, then at least I'd be ready, you know? So maybe I can just, like, the way I see it, I'll try fast traveling to get to, like, certain quests and see if, uh... I can learn more before ah, I decide to are. explore more. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor? Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm, it seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one I would imagine. Spell was real. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. We will have you casting Rapero in no time. Okay. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Rapero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. Okay. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Okay, now what? Collect the flying page near the broken statue. Which broken statue? This one? This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Um, with Accio, I would think, right? Alright, okay, where'd it go? What's this? Did I get the page? Did I just have to walk up to it? No. <laughs> How do I get you? Aha! Okay, it was accurate. Collect the flying page in the defense against the Dark Arts Tower. What is this? Revelia. Oh, it's blue. Lumos. Not Lumos for this one. It was Lumos for the uh, mirror. Okay, can I fast travel to that? Accio the statue. Ooh. Let's give that a try. Accio. 
Um, do I have to aim at anything specific? He thinks I'm not doing this right. Closer. I think I'm doing this right. I keep forgetting that it's not working. Oh no! <laughs> I keep forgetting that Accio is a toggle and not like a hold, hold to use kind of situation. Um, I, I guess I'll just keep going. <laughs> I'm having a few problems with how the game is running, so I need to look into that in my own time. Like, I didn't want to launch the game earlier and have like, like miss. Um, certain dialogues and cutscenes. Um, yeah, I should probably figure out how to save. I think the game uses autosave, but I'm not sure if I have to... If I think I can save on my own. I can. Well, let's do this. <laughs> Might as well. At least I know it's saved. I'll have to do some troubleshooting in my own time. So we'll go to the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. Oh gosh, I forget where that is. <gasps> Whoa! If you see this icon at a location, hover over it to reveal any hidden icons that may be at the same location. Okay. Can I, like, zoom in? Yes, there we go. Okay. It's such a large map. Like, all I really have to do is teleport around the castle, and even I'm confused by that. So I'll just have to get more familiar with how it works. Oh, it's almost the end of day for me. But I want to keep playing. I don't want to work tomorrow. <laughs> Who does? I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. There's a page around here somewhere we have to go find. Flying page must be around here somewhere. Might some kind soul help me? Have you seen a page? Aha! Brilliant! Yeah, I'll talk to you, why not? Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Why? Yeah, sympathize first. I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. That's kind of you. I suppose there are a few decent souls here. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Oh, gross. <laughs> I have heard of gobstones. The only time I've ever played Gob it was stones. in the Sounds Hogwarts like a fun Mystery that's mobile game. That's what I game. tried to tell everyone. And that's not even <sighs> playing the game. So it was just like just because they're spraying catering or responses to distract the player. It's their own fault for losing. 
Imelda is one of the worst losers. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. And oh, Imelda for poor sure. losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. <sighs> Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't <laughs> think I know the necessary spells yet. No, I I'm here to break. I'm breaking the cycle as a Slytherin. And talented fifth year to help me. <laughs> they only seem bad from Harry Potter's point of view. Oh, and who else said it? Was it Hagrid who said it, or is it Ron? That they're. I think it was Ron who said it. I can't remember. Um. Any ideas how to reach them? Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones Saying down that there from was their no hiding dark spots? Wizard if I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high, I'm gonna, I'm gonna got butcher up there the quote. somehow. There wasn't anyone who's been in Slytherin who didn't come out like a, a dark wizard, pretty much. And not me, I'm a good one. I strive to be, anyway. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. Oh. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Is she a first year? She seems... She seems very young. Okay, quests. What were those? I need to learn what the shortcut keys are. I want to finish this. I want to learn Reparo, please. Ooh, windmill. Cool. Is that supposed to be Hogsmeade or somewhere else? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's cobblestones. Oh, there's an owl up there. See? Look, right there. Oh, I could target it. I don't want to. I trust the preliminary tasks. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Okay. You know what, these are kind of fun. Oh, F, that's different. I'm glad you only get to do that once when you're learning the spell. Kind of reminds me of like the original, uh, um, first two Harry Potter PC games. Except you don't have to draw it. I guess it's more like in Chamber of Secrets where you like, the wand moves over the shape and you have to hit the right buttons. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. Already it on it, allegedly sir. Allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate Apparently. and lashed out. Excellent. Heartbreak? Hmm. I'd better keep an eye on high places okay, around you. the school for Zenobia's gobstones. You're supposed to Accio. Accio. Guess not. Not today. It's not feeling it. Oh, okay. So I finished that quest then. So it looks like... I don't know what my quest buttons are. Now I can do this.
Meet Natty near the entrance to Hogwarts. Oh, but we're over the three hour mark. And I need to start winding down for the night. Okay. Well, I did think we'd, I'd only have like time to do one more thing, which was that. That's fine. So I learned Reparo, and now I think I'm ready to go to Hogsmeade probably the next time I play. And hopefully work out a couple kinks along the way, so... Let me just make sure I save. Might as well. Okay, switched over to a slightly different view. Um, okay. I guess a few remarks about the game. I've been playing for three hours. There is a lot of information. It's very immersive into the wizarding world, which is like exactly what I expected. Um, it seems to be teaching at a pretty good pace, but it is introducing like a lot. So it seems overwhelming at first because I have like main quests and side quests and then there's like exploring you can do and then a bunch of other things. So it kind of, like, at least it gives you a lot of options right away, but at the same time it seems like... I don't really know what I want to do first. <laughs> um, but I think that's a good thing as well, because it can tailor to different sort of experiences when you play the game. Like, I feel like right now I just want to go with, like, the main quest and try and learn more of the story. I prefer a lot of story-based games. Um, but if, like, say... I play it again as maybe like a different house and then I'll be like, oh, well, now I'll just like hang out fr with friends or whatever, or um, just focus on like collectibles and whatnot. Um, I'm really impressed with it. Character is pretty customizable. I like that. Um, they seem very inclusive on a lot of the characters. Which is nice. Um, other than like a few nitpicky things about... I guess like that slider tool and the character customization. That's like the only thing I've really been nitpicky about. Um, I'm gonna have to do something about the leg that I've kept experiencing tonight. See if I can fix some of that in my off time so that I can play more. Um, and have my computer handle it better, but I'm probably gonna have to get a new PC at some point. Oh, what else do I want to talk about? Like, I think... It's living up to the expectations and the hype so far. Like, I didn't think I'd see a dragon right away, to be honest. That was really cool. Or, like, immediately bringing you to famous locations like Gringotts and Hogwarts, and now we're going to Hogsmeade. Um, my gosh, what else? Like, there's the collections here, but I do wish there was more of, um, yeah, Hagrid's Hut would be a good one. Quidditch, I know they're not having it in the game, but I, I hope it's something they can bring into it eventually. Um, I look forward to more of the classes, like, potions would be really neat, learning how to put potions together. But I think that's, like, that's, like, a whole, um, whole learning curve on its own. Mounts. So I do have the deluxe edition. I should have two mounts. I want to know when to get the hippogriff mount. Like, it's been three hours, I'm, like, just going outside <laughs> so i'll have to figure out when that is and uh multiplayer if that's going to be included in the game because i would love to go on adventures like with some friends who are also like putting a lot of time into the game um i do wish there were like more there is a lot of dialogue there is a lot to read already but just from the characters that were introduced, I wish I had like some 
it could be in here for all I know, but just some way to read up more about certain characters, like Professor Weasley, Professor Fig, or see, like... I'm sure all of that will come in time, because, like I said, it is introducing a lot already. Or, like, my character will ask questions to the professor about something, and they're like, um, don't worry about that right now, we will cover it in a later lesson. So it seems like the developers did put in, well, maybe not just the developers, but like the whole team of planning this game. They put a lot of thought into giving options, tailoring it to different play styles. It, it's pretty cool. <laughs> um, I am getting tired, so that's like my 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 review on it so far. I highly recommend it. It seems like a lot of fun. There's so much to learn, so much potential, so much adventure. Um, and I can't wait to play some more. So s I'm going to try streaming again probably on Sunday. I'm trying to come up with a schedule that works. It's like ever since the holidays, it's like there's no, there's no consistency in my week. So I'm just trying to come up with a schedule now. So I'm thinking Wednesday, Sunday, I'll probably try streaming. But if I really have the itch to play it again, then like, yeah, I'll probably just jump into a stream, whatever. Um. Oh man, should be great. Oh, Owl Post opens up now. Oh, cool. Okay, I keep getting distracted. <laughs> um, I really appreciate everybody uh, watching this stream. Uh, everyone seems super hyped for the game, and I'm glad you got to witness my first reaction to it. Oh, I know, Sunday, it's so long. I just have like a million things going on. Um, like it is my birthday this month and it's like within like the next couple days. So I have a lot happening and it seems like Sunday's probably the only day. Hopefully I'm not burnt out or exhausted from all of that, but hopefully I could just, I could play on Sunday. That's the goal. Um, what else was I saying? Oh yeah. Thank you everyone for being here. Thank you for all the wonderful tips. Like it seems like everyone is just so excited for this game and is just itching for more and more Hogwarts Legacy content. Like there's a, seems to be a ton of streamers out there already playing this game and I love that. There's so much hype for it despite like some issues with like marketing and, and PR, but like we're not, we're not gonna talk about that. Um, and I can't wait for a lot of for a lot of you viewers who say that you're going to get it like when it comes out on the 10th. And like you guys are going to have so much fun playing this. I, I can't wait for for that for you. So so yeah, while you're waiting on Sunday or for me to play more on Sunday, like just play the game yourself if you have it. Like sure. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. Okay. Enough talking. I'm getting tired. So, thank you so much everyone for, for watching this stream. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like, subscribe, whatever you want. Uh, stay tuned for whatever I upload next or whenever I'm live next. So, have a good night everyone. Bye!